I just heard, I heard, heard them. I can hear them. I heard you. I heard you with your baby. Andre told me your baby came out. You only have one baby? No, there's more around. Uh, we got dog food. Oh, there's two, three, four. There they are, people. Do you see them? There's four of them out there. Four. Four. Matilda. What are you doing? We got dog food though. Are you teaching them to come in my house? Uh, there's this guy up in Nova Scotia that has a whole band of raccoons that he feeds every day. Every day. So, I'm just going to give him some cat food for now. Hold on. Okay, they're up by the hen house area. Mm-hmm. Up in there. That's, that must be where their den is. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, let's try this again. So it's June 22nd. No, it's June 24th, 2020. I just uploaded a video that says the BC, gov BC government is lying. Okay. The thing about video, like a recording... It's on the fly, people. Cameras can pick up energy weapons. Our eyes can't necessarily see it. But a camera can, and you can slow down the frames to specifically see the energy weapon that goes faster than the speed of light. Well, it's kind of like the same thing with these fake streams. Right? Those, what I just uploaded with my last video... That Those are fake streams. The stream was real when they did it 14 hours ago. But when they streamed it onto YouTube to make it look like everybody gathered at that time for that scheduled stream with pertinent up-to-date information right along with the pertinent up-to-date questions, that's all fake. Okay? Because... They can't, you, you can't, you, you can't defy, I don't know, gravity? You can't defy gravity, right? You know, you can only pull the wool over the eyes for so long, right? Anyway, you know, I'm like, I feel like I'm living in a nightmare with a bunch of fucking demons. Because the stuff that they're doing, people, is the same kind of shit that I've been coming across over the years with what's been happening with my family in terms of scripts being written before you even show up, okay? They've already got the skit. It's a skit, like a little play, in place. And they have their actors, their doctors, their Lucy's with Shemay, right? Right? The doctor that was running to Uncle John's room when they cued him that I was in the elevator coming upstairs, right? Even though I had an appointment with him on Friday instead of that day, right? With all the kids with Uncle John to discuss him, right? Just, okay? Anyway, I don't... I do want to talk about this because these old people that are being isolated, like, okay, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, okay? Because the things that I talk about, I can pretty much produce some kind of evidence. I can show evidence of energy weapons. Okay? I just showed evidence of fraud. Okay? Basically, what the government is doing by playing it off like they're doing live streams in the fly, but they are not, is fraud. I'm sure there's a... Well, there is, under the Criminal Code of Canada. Right? How can you give a death on a Monday when you weren't even in on Monday to do the live because the live was done on the Friday prior to, right? Before, before the Monday. If you did the live on the 19th, predicting that you were going to have one death for the 22nd, right? And then you did the live on 
so-called the 22nd when in fact it was a pre-recorded live and it just wasn't streamed onto YouTube through the subscriptions. That's why it kicks out. Because they start with the live somehow, some way, with something and then they kick it out and just let the rest of the video fucking run out. Anyway, people, they got caught in a lie. They've been lying. This is the same kind of shady shit that they did with Uncle John. It's the same kind of shady shit that they did with Sierra and the fucking Andre. And then it was Shimei's body. And then this stuff that went on with Sierra, right? So, you know, I, I, I'm, in a, I'm in a nightmare with a bunch of fucking demons because only demons do shit like this, people, right? Stealing money, stealing body parts, hurting families, hurting people, injuring people, running fucking energy weapons through people's yards and, and their homes, you know, and just the whole nine yards. Only now they're not just doing it to um, single mothers with mulatto children that are easy to pick off. They're doing it en masse now. Okay? They're not locking up just Uncle John, like I said. Right? They're locking up hundreds and hundreds of Uncle Johns. And, I guess you could say, Auntie Jones. And nobody is allowed to go see what is happening to their bodies. To their bodies. Never mind the person. What is happening to their bodies? Considering what they did to Shemay's body. And Sierra's body. And even Uncle John's body. Right? And we're never held account to it. And that's with witnesses. I, in terms of conspiracy theorists, you know, what's this urgent need for the government workers to isolate old people and anyone else that comes down with COVID-19, apparently, right? And have them in hospitals where nobody can see what the hell is going on with the person and their body. I'm wondering if they're not maybe doing, like seriously people, I am, with, with this bullshit, with fake feeds, fake lives, fake uploads that were done days in advance, with fake fucking deaths, okay, right? Seriously, people need to stop and ask themselves, what are they doing with these people's bodies. Because a lot of these people, if they're elderly, are dying. And I'm like, okay, well, if you were a corrupt fucking demonic government, what would you, what would you want to do with those bodies? Once you could get them all tucked away like their dirty secret, right? And do what they want without being held accountable with the fucking Lucys that work in the system. And I'm like, okay, a lot of these politicians are like that pillar in a bar. They never fucking move. They've been around forever. So basically, they want to live for as long as they can. Right? So, before they'll try a new drug to see if it brings on, what is that, Fountain of Youth? <laughs> they'll plug it into some old person locked into a bed, strapped down, to see if their skin started to change. And if they die, they don't have to answer to nobody because nobody's seen what happened to that person laying in that bed. Right? Because they were infected with COVID-19. And they died from COVID-19. So, the body is contaminated like Shemay. They have to get rid of it real fucking fast. Right? They make sure that you can't get a second independent autopsy. Right? That you're stuck with fucking people like the BC coroner's office, which are equal to what you're hearing when they come on line through taxpayers' expense, right? With fake feeds, fake lives, fake up uploads that are prescripted to feed to feed a fake fucking lie as they pay as they pay their 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 news outlets. They pay them. To, to participate in that lie. If that's not a nightmare, I don't know what is. Right? How am I going to get justice for Shimei and the rest of my family people when I'm dealing with demons? Because only demons would do shit like this. 
okay? They have a political agenda, right? And they're going to make sure that whatever that agenda is, which I'm starting to think, they're looking for the fountain of loot youth. That's why they need access to all these bodies hidden away in fucking experiments, right? To see how they're reacting to certain kind of drugs or, you know, energy weapons, right? Or whatever it is that they're doing. Nobody knows. That's the thing. Nobody knows. Only the Lucys know. And the Dr. Ghouls know, right? Shamay. Only Dr. Ghoul knows. Only the Lucys that are pampering a dead body knows what the fuck is going on. Okay? And they don't want to get caught. See, that's the thing, people. They don't want to get caught. Right? Just like they took down that video to not get caught that they're fucking putting out fake lives. Okay? Right? They don't want to get caught, so they're not going to take a chance by allowing family members to come in and say, Hey, Uncle Ralph doesn't look right. There's something wrong. Like, what the hell are you guys doing to Uncle Ralph? They're not going to tell you that they're looking for the fountain of youth, right? And that they pumped him up with some experimental drug. I'm just saying. That could be happening. Nobody really knows, right? We just know that they're dying. And if they're not dying, um, then we've got, you know, who, <coughs> right, coming up, giving out fake numbers in terms of deaths before the death even occurred. If that's not dynamic, you, you know, De demonic, demonic, if that's not demonic, evil, heinous, sinister, if that's not fucking sinister, I don't know what is, people, because they've ruined millions of lives, and they're gloating over it, and they've got all these paid, well, I guess you call them shills, but the news outlets, propping them up because they're all into bed together birds of a feather flock together they're shapeshifters only a shapeshifter only something that crawled out of a fucking dungeon that came up through from some from hole in from hell could, 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 could put a cloak of lies over 5.2 million people you know it's one thing lying to the Chorney family and doing what they did but now they're doing it to hundreds of families. And the people aren't fighting back. Because they take for face value the live stream that's put up in their fucking face without questioning the integrity of the people that are feeding you the lie. For whatever reason. Some like the lie. It makes them lots of money. They got contracts in the works. Right? They get a free pass. And if they're successful at finding that fountain of youth drug after they've experimented on 2,000 old people to see if they get any positive fucking results, well, then they're guaranteed to be standing there like that pillar in a bar in the parliament building in 20 fucking years from now, and you'll be like, damn, they've been in there for 50 fucking years, and they hardly look like they aged. Why? Why? How is it they, they're like that old, but they don't, and they got all this stress, but they don't age? Hmm? Something to think about. Right? Something to think about, people. So anyway, now that I got that off my chest, <coughs> and I know the babies are out, but we have dog food, so. Matilda's trying to talk to me more. So anyway, I got Amari's oranges here. I dehydrated the those little seeds. I took them through that machine, but it's still not enough. So, I'm taking them into mortar now. And I'm trying to break them up in a mortar a little bit. Because, like I said, there's lots of nutrients in blackberry seeds and raspberry seeds. So much so that people pay good money for these things. So, if people are going to pay good money for raspberry seeds... You know, and I got them. And then, you know, I'm going to try it out with the Mari. I'm going to look them up to see what, what the nutrients are. I can't remember right now. I know that they're high in a bunch of stuff, though. 
like I said, people pay for this stuff. They put them in their smoothies, you know, the, 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 you know, the health nuts. Health nuts like this kind of stuff. Right? And since Amari can't chew them himself, I kind of have to break them up a little bit. So that's what I'm doing now. And I bet you when I go outside, yeah, that's much better. I bet you, and then I'm going to just mix it in with his uh, orange, and he won't even notice it. Right? Now, that's normal. That's, that's, a, that's a normal activity, you know, normal, normal behavior, right, you know, with normal results. Um, so, how I got stuck with all this abnormal shit that comes in some from so-called fucking professionals, like, honest to God, people, I don't know what my life is, is, is amounting out to be, because, you know... Tisha gets, oh, well, you know, I'm going to end it here, and I'm going to upload this, okay, because I don't, I just, I just, this stuff makes me so sick. Tisha says, I want you to be happy, mom. You know, you need to do this, do that, and just, just be happy. You know, like, blah, blah, blah. You don't have many years left, and I just want you to be happy. You know, and you're always angry. You're always fighting. You know, you're fighting, 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 and blah, 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 blah. And it's not about fighting people. Like, like, it's, if I don't... If I don't, I don't call it fighting, but it is kind of like fighting. If I don't stand my ground, hold my ground, right? Tell the truth, people. If I don't tell the truth and be not afraid to tell the, the truth, I'm not afraid. Well, sometimes I get afraid because now that they know that I've called them out, like, you know, like I said, I'm just waiting for the next attack. It's been like that. I figured it out already a while back how these... I wanted to say things operate because they don't out operate in the normal sense of what human beings do in a day. Okay? It is not normal to want to injure millions of lives, right? Or lock up, lock up, literally, lock up hundreds of lives so that nobody ever really knows what happened to those people and their bodies, right? When, when, uh, they can't even fucking acknowledge the shit that they do when they're called on it, like Andrew the Dragon, when I took Uncle John stuff to court, right? They used the court to their advantage because the court has been, you know, bought off by them, just like the news media is bought off by them. So it's like living in two different fucking worlds, okay? I live in the normal world where I have a severely injured child that, you know, I'm doing the best that I can to, to, to raise him, you know, with, with a very uncertain future due to no fault of his own because he was injured at birth, right? The same narrative, the same lie, you know, they tried to manufacture in that Shimei was doing drugs and that's why Amari was, no. They were giving her drugs, they prolonged her pregnancy, her, her birthing process too long and they fucking injured Amari and so you know you start off with something normal and then you end up in fucking hell okay with with the very people that are running this province okay because they should have dealt with Uncle John because maybe if they would have dealt with Uncle John and it's not even a maybe if they would have fucking dealt with Uncle John Shimei would be alive today there would have been a whole different story right but you see, that's not the agenda. The agenda is, is they need these bodies, people. They don't care where they come from as long as they get them. Okay? You know, this premier getting up on his fake stream today, talking about, uh, oh, you know, young people. I think it was him, it was or you know who, right? Going on about young people are dying. We got to do something about it. You know, fuck no. You need those young bodies just like you need those old bodies. You use the old bodies one for the money, okay? As fast as you fucking kill them, you fucking fill up the bed, okay? Because they, it's they're dying in government care facilities. They're dying in privatized care facilities that the government sold off to the fucking crooked Chinese that came in with their fentanyl and started poisoning everybody in the community as they take that profit sale and then inf infuse it into the freaking housing market, right, so that they can bring political genocide to the Canadian-born people, regardless of their ethnic heritage, although some people have it worse than others. But sooner or later, it's going to catch up to the other ones after the well starts to run dry, right? 
right? But you see, they, 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 they're filling up the well right now. And they're filling them up with the old people because I bet you they're doing fucking science. If they're going to take a body, hook it up after it's been embalmed, and put it on a hospital bed to make it look like it's alive for nine fucking days... You don't think that they're not doing some shady shit to these old people's bodies to see if they can regenerate their uh, cell growth or, or to uh, find the fountain of youth with some experimental drug that they created in some lab? When they're desperate to amass great wealth basically for themselves through their personal portfolios? And are power mongers and fear mongers so that they can be glued to the bar pillar for eternity? Kind of like a Dracula with the Lucys? Right? Two worlds.